dramatic things, the more emotionally intense, the bigger fights yeah, and stuff. Because I'm coming from uh, a, a place where my feet are planted. Three paragraph question. Troy, I have a question. Did you anticipate the can of worms that is flow walking? How much did you tell me? Um, I originally didn't envision it. I think a lot of people kind of misinterpret it as, as time travel in the sense that you know you can go back and, and exist there. And there aren't really a set of, um, I, I didn't establish a set of rules about, you know, this is what happens when you do this and that and the other and how far you can go back. Um, I just kind of envisioned it as uh, a little bit of time dabbling. You know, you can go back and, and look at what happened in the past and maybe somebody will see you and maybe you can fix a point in the future by something you do in the present. You know, because it, um, Yoda said always in motion the future is. And the whole point of Jason seeing um, where he sets the, the fixes the future in uh, the Joiner King when he talks to his mother in the future was that, you know, it's kind of creepy and a kind of a dark tower if you're able to say, okay, this is the future that I want to set. And so that was kind of the, the idea behind uh, flow walking. And it really wasn't intended to be a big idea of, of opening up time travel. And it, and it always had been my intention, although, you know, how do you set the, like, you know, stop the, the action in the story to give you four pages of rules about flow walking? <laughs> it's not a good thing to do. Um, but it relies on my intention that it's really a minor thing. You can go back and look at the past, but the force will, the current will, of the force will correct it and bring it back to what the present is when you actually initiate your flow walk. And that you can go in a little ways into the future and fix a point so that you know, you're picking a future, but that's kind of a dark, dark side um, use of the of flow walking. Uh, so that was my the only thing that I really anticipated, but then I saw that you know on, online a lot of different interpretations about where we were going with this, what was going to happen. And at one point, I hope that I'm not going too far astray, but I, I wanted we talked about a different ending to um, uh, Legacy of the Force. Um, we talked about a different ending of, of, of Legacy of the Force, where we use flow walking to bring Anakin Solo back. <laughs> Yeah, it, there was, I mean, it, it, we, we talked about it, and, you know, just because we talk about something doesn't mean that it should be done. But it was, it was a really cool idea we had. It was one of the things we brought up in, like, our third brainstorming meeting during, you know, during that series. And I really, really wanted to do it because I wanted to, um, I was worried about the ending of the series being too dark, you know, when I killed my second solo son. Uh, <laughs> believe me, I just did not do that with the relish. But, but when that, you know, when I realized this is what we're going to do, I was like trying to, to think of some way to make it positive, so I, I come up with this idea. And we would use flow walking to do that. But once we started to explore with everybody, with ourselves and with um, some of the other people at Lucasfilm, what, what that was going to open up, the can of worms that that was going to open up, um, we just kind of thought, well, maybe we don't want to take Star Wars in that direction. Um, and so we decided to place a very firm limit on it, and that's why there's that scene in, in Invincible where Jason explains to Tahiri just what he can't do with flow walking. And, and, you know, it's really a very limited thing. You can go maybe, you know, at the most, a really powerful Jedi Master might be able to go one lifetime into the future to look at something, or one lifetime into the past to look at something. You can't go much beyond that. Um, and, and that the, you definitely cannot change the past, and you can fix a point in the future, but you know, the further you go in the, in the future to try to fix that point, the more difficult and unreliable your attempt becomes. Right you. I'm going to have to speak up real for the sake of closure, will Luke and Leia ever learn about their mother? For the sake of closure, will Luke and Leia ever learn more about their mother?
That's a difficult question. It's possible, but it would have to happen within the context of a larger story to try to make a story around Luke meeting his relatives. You know, it's more like a greeting card and not really like a novel. Um, so until a story built itself around that idea and it fits into it, probably not. Fade in the boot. More of the exploration of sort of the gray side of, 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 the, of the Jedi, of Jedi yeah. actions. Well, well, anything is possible, but right now we're writing a series that's more upbeat and therefore more black and white. So that's a, really a question for what uh, Fate of the Jedi is finished. There, there are characters in other books that are exploring that. I know that there's a character in our upcoming Cross Current that is dealing with that very question. Um, and there, there's a character in the Course at Night's books where uh, and she is um, an offshoot, comes from the offshoot of the Jedi that, that, that do the Force differently. And in this series, Ben and Luke are meeting um, and, and, and experiencing the different uh, Force awareness and Force, you know, the way the Force is dealt with by many different Force-using cultures. Yes. So in that respect, we will be touching on what you want to call gray areas, the aim you call, you know, the rainbow Force. So. Yeah, amongst the Jedi in this series, not really. Maybe Leland, you can talk about um, how do you pin down how do you pin down those force sensitive cultures that you know Jason would visit in the past. And, you just look at the database of force, and then you just go through all the entries. But did you chart a path, or did you just open it up to the authors and say, where do you guys want to go? Uh, I just uh, scoured the database uh, for the different groups and. He just gave them a list. <laughs> and the list was not entirely complete. There was still a little wiggle room to add more yeah. cultures yeah. to the list. Probably not. You know, they were cut off from the force for so many centuries. It's going to take them quite a while just to discover the force again and, and to relate to it. So for one to to grow it, to be a Jedi, I think is quite a ways off. So I can't, you know, I wouldn't strike it out, but probably not in the near future for them in their near future. Yeah, the Jedi in the back. What, what year in the Star Wars timeline does Fate of the Jedi take place? Is that the question? So what's its uh, maybe why? It started like 42 maybe why, didn't it? Yeah, it's 42 or 3. Yeah, 42 or 3. Yeah, I think it's 42.7. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Spock. <laughs> and it's leap year, so add the day. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, the latest thing in the Jedi book, uh, or the first one in the series, if you went back to these old relics on uh, Kessel, and for a while now we've been seeing hints at an old um, ancient civilization that might have built the, the, uh, the Maw, that might have that had built the center point and the gravity stations and the <coughs> Will we be exploring that ancient civilization at all in future novels? So the question is, we, we've seen hints dropped about whatever it is that built the mob, perhaps center point, there's something strange going on with Kessel in the, the early books, the first books here. Will, will we be seeing more of that? I don't know that we can can tell you a whole lot about what our plans are for that, um, which is kind of an answer in itself. <laughs> <laughs> we can't say nobody will be flown walking back to that civilization. Those are the Celestials? Yeah. yeah. That's who you're referring to, right? The Celestials? Yeah. yeah. They may be a myth. <laughs> <laughs> 